Hi, so this is part two of the Marilyn Monroe look, and I've done both eyes. The only thing I haven't done with the last one, which you guys just saw me finish, is I put the eyelashes on, and I put them only at the ends, because she just had kind of longer ones at the end. That's where she put them. And so now I'm just going to put some mascara only on the top part. So kind of blend your eyelashes into the fake ones so that it looks like you just have these really long eyelashes on the side. Because that's what you're really going for. So those are the eyelashes. Now I've done the eyes and now I'm going to do cheeks and lips. So the first um, color that I'm going to use for my cheeks is um, this Clinique one. Um, it's kind of a darker color, it's this color. And what I'm going to do with this is do under my cheekbone. Um, and then I'm going to get a, a pink to do on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to use this brush that it comes with, it's a really nice one. Um, and blend it under. Just a little bit. I don't want to do even that much. So you can s barely even see it. I already kind of have some pink cheeks for some reason right now, so I'm not going to do very much. Um, I don't know why my computer is freaking out and overheating, but anyway. Um, then I'm going to do um, some pink blush. And I'm using this MAC one, Dolly Mix, which I use a lot. Um, and it looks really bright, but if you use a little bit, it looks really nice and just kind of pink, you know, pink. So tap it off. And just dust it over your cheeks. Okay, now I'm going to put some translucent powder all over. And I use this CoverGirl one, which is not that great, but it's the only one I have. And actually, she actually used translucent powder, too. She didn't even really use a lot of powder. I think she used it sometimes, but um, I think she used this one more. Okay, that's all. Um, I want to do one more little trick that she does. I don't really need to do it because I have a small nose. And she kind of did too, but whatever. Um, I'm going to get this fluffy brush and I'm going to get a brown. This light brown that I used for my eyes. And I'm going to put it um, right here on the tip of my nose. Just a little bit. And, kinda, and then it kind of just looks like you have a shorter nose. I can't really tell for some reason in there. But, um, she, I think she used blush for that, but I don't really want to put pink on my nose. Okay, now for the lips. This was a very, also another illusion that she did. Um, so, sharpen your white pencil again, because she did use white pencil for her lips. And that seems weird, but she did it. And make sure you sharpen it so it doesn't have any of the black on it from your eye and so you don't get, you know, germs, bacteria from your eye or from your lips to your eye. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is what she did. Um, she outlined right above her lips with white. So I'm going to do that. Now this seems kind of weird because you're going to look like you have a milk mustache. Um, so 
So I'm only going to do the top part. Now, blend it. Now I have to get my... So you need a lip brush for this. But also, I'm going to use um, a little sponge thing for the white part. So with your just your sponge, if you have these, kind of blend the white with your skin. And this is going to create the illusion that your top lip goes more over your bottom lip to kind of make it look like you have really full top lip. Okay, so just like that. Um, now, what I'm going to do is with my red eyeline, uh, eyeliner, my red lip liner, where is it? Here it is. And I'm using Brick by MAC. I'm going to be using three shades of lipstick. So I'm going to first be using this. Well, this doesn't count, but this is the lip liner. Then I'm going to be using this Revlon one, and it's called Scream, and it's really dark. I'm not going to be using a lot of it. Then I'm going to use Russian Red. This is Russian Red. Hold on. Let me get Russian Red. But um, I'm also going to be using this Revlon one, which is more of a corally orange color. Um... Stick, but I'll just use um, a different red. Um, anyways, so um, I'm going to start by lining my lips. So what she did was she went past her lip, which I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So once you get there, go past your lip a little bit. Like that. It never really connected. So like that. So during this time it really was all about the lips. They were very into red lips. So anyway, blend this. So, I mean, you can really use any colors you want. I mean, her makeup is kind of like really what fits you. Not just, um, that's why she did it herself a lot of the time. Okay, so now I'm going to put the orange on first, and I'm going to put that on mostly the center part.
So really what her lips were about were also another kind of effect that she had. Where the middle part was more glossy and lighter and then the outsides of it were a lot more um, dark and, you know, outlined. So now I'm going to get the darker color. So really fill in more of the sides more with the dark. And then on the bottom. So, um, there's the lips, and they're really full, I know, because I already have pretty full lips. I think she did it more because she didn't have super, super full lips, so on me it looks a little bit weird, but, um, that's really what she did, so, um, to make her lips, her top lip more full. And another thing you can do is put some uh, gloss on the center because that's what she did. And it's very um, glossy. So I'm going to use this Neutrogena gloss, which it looks like it's red, but it's, it's just kind of tinted and it's really shiny. So I'm going to put that in the center. And sometimes she used Vaseline for this. So that's really it. Oh, um, if you want to add um, her signature um, birthmark, um, you can do that too, which I'll do. I'm going to use... Um, black, even though she did probably didn't use black, and it's over here, and then if you want to make it look more natural, just put your um, brush like this, with, you know, just sweep some dust over it, the powder. So it doesn't look super bright. And that's it, really. That's a Marilyn Monroe look. Um, so, also, this is another thing just for fun. Uh, Marilyn Monroe kind of had, like, a really... She had, like, a dominant widow's peak. So if you want, you can do that by um, getting your white powder or eyeshadow and making it a widow's peak just by kind of putting some on her hair like this and then I have kind of a weird uneven widow's peak actually so kind of just put in eyeshadow where you want to have um, a widow's peak and then darker eyeshadow where you want the eye uh, widow's peak to be more exaggerated so mine's going to be like right here. So what I'm going to do is get darker eyeshadow and put it on that part. So again, I mean, you can do a lot of things with makeup to exaggerate um, things. So that's my fake widow's peak. It's a little bit uneven, but it's the most natural to it. And really, that's how 